Hey guys, hi, hello, namaste, adab, sasriyakal, assalamu alaikum, madakkam and khambangani to all of you. Welcome to today's session and uh, today we are not discussing any topic of your syllabus but we will be discussing a very important thing that is your strategy for your term 1, right? So what are the best tips which I am going to give for you, uh, give you for maths? I will be talking about that in detail. Now before I go ahead guys, first tip for my side is all of to all of you is that if you require any kind of guidance, any help in your preparation, Vedantu Pro subscription is the course for you. Because let me tell you the features. First thing, you'll be getting the access to unlimited classes. You can attend as many classes as you want. There is no limit on that. You can also will be able to understand that where do you actually stand when the students will be from the different parts of the world, right? Interactive replay, so you'll get to know like uh, uh, when you are watching the revision, when you are watching the recording even of a session, say yesterday's session you want to do the record, you want to watch the recording, even during that as well guys, you can attend the quizzes, you can see your name in the leaderboard. Also there you will be getting the notes of master teachers uh, and uh, test assignments, everything at one place. Doubt solving for uh, your doubt solving, especially we have class teachers present in the class, dedicated teachers whom we call class teachers who will take care of each and every doubt of yours. And also you can attend as many micro courses and crash courses as you want with the help of which you can say complete a topic as many times as you want, revise a topic as many times as you want and also meet your different master teachers. All right. So the link for the re registration is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment. The coupon code is GPE Pro. Now let me quickly show you guys how you can register for it. And one more thing, this GP Pro code is going to give you 10% off. Flat 10% off. So that's a very good deal you are getting right now. Now the best courses which I would like to recommend to you is <clears throat> first, you can see here CBSE 10th Term 1 Crash Course. Now here if you want, you can click over on the registration page. Class 10th Grade 10th Term 1 Crash Course. This course is basically for all the students who want to prepare for their term one because we'll be completing your whole syllabus for your term one. All the subjects, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, SST and English. You have two versions for the courses to choose from, Pro Light and Pro Classic. Pro Light has all the features which I have told you till now. Pro Classic has one more extra feature which is doubt solving on mobile app. So even after the classes, you can get the all your doubts resolved, just post, post the photo of your doubt, the whatever question you are getting stuck in, pick, uh, click the pick, post it in the doubt set and your doubt will be resolved. <clears throat> so these are the two courses. Now I would like to recommend you Pro Classic out of these two because this is a better course. You are just paying 450 more and you'll be getting the access to doubt solving app. So that's my advice but you can go for Pro Light as well because if you take Pro Classic during the preparation, Whenever you got doubt, you can quickly take a pick of the doubt and get the solution instantly 24 seven doubt solving support system. Now, if you want to go for some other courses, now other good course for CBSE student, you can go for the year long course. You can go for the foundation courses, Maharashtra board, ICSE board, all these courses are available for you. Okay, beta. So these courses are available. Now let's move ahead with our today's topic. <clears throat> That is what are the tips for your term one preparation. So guys, the important thing is knowing your syllabus, you need to know what you are dealing with. At least all the chapters you would have learned in the school or wherever online classes, you should have some basic idea. Because if you remember, I have given you two months strategy as well. And if you are following that, by now you would have completed many chapters of yours. But suppose if you are starting your preparation now, obviously hard work will be more. You need to spend uh, give more time towards the preparation. That is one thing for sure. There is no substitution over that. If you are looking for, if you are looking in this video that I am going to tell you something with which if you study 10 minutes every day, still you are going to score 90 percentage of the math. Sorry, this video is not for you. And there is no such video. If someone is telling you, you only study, if you have not studied anything till now, and if anybody is telling you that you only study 10 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, no, only this much you study and you'll get full marks. It's all uh, say uh, it's not correct. It's just a way to foolish you, to make a fool out of you. 
I'm telling you the real fact over here. If you are starting a preparation now, amount of hard work will be more, which uh, which you need to put in. Okay, be ready for it. Just accept the reality. That's the first step which you need to do. Accept the reality. See the syllabus. You'll just see the syllabus. You'll know there are many chapters which you need to complete, and that too, all the subjects. So I'll just talk to. I'll just talk regarding maths preparation. Okay, beta. So this is the uh, say term one uh, chapters number system algebra coordinate geometry geometry trigonometry mensuration statistics and probability. Don't think these are statistics is also there. Okay? I'm talking unit wise. This is the unit wise marks distribution. Number system has six marks. Algebra ten marks. Coordinate geometry six marks. Geometry six marks. Trigonometry five. Mensuration four. Statistics and probability three. Okay, and internal assessment is going to be of ten marks, so total fifty marks. Okay, now here you you have seen as in the sample paper as well. If you have not seen the sample paper released by CBSC guys, please don't miss that. That's the first thing. Once you have finished the whole syllabus, do not forget to go for the sample paper. It's very important. Okay, so section A had twenty questions, section B had twenty questions, and section C had total ten questions. So total fifty marks you have got. Number of questions you need to attend, so you have to attend only 16 out of 20 questions. You have to attend only 16. Remember, you don't have to attend all the questions. You can really leave four questions in section B. You can you have to attend only 16, and in section C, you have to attend only eight questions. So that will give you a total of 40 questions. Please be very careful. Okay, so there is one mark per question, so total gives you 40 marks. So you can think of it in this way that 90 minutes, that is one and a half hour, you have to finish 40 questions. You are getting around two minutes per question. Now, obviously, out of these 40 questions, some question will be those which can be solved within 30 seconds. Some question will be those which will take around four minutes, five minutes to solve. So on an average, two minutes per question. So two minutes per question, if you go two into 40, you'll be getting around 80 minutes. 80 minutes done. What will do for the 10 minutes? Recheck or whatever questions you are not not able to attend, solve those. So that should be your strategy when you are going for the paper. All right, and this strategy is not like yeah, just arrest all this. I will do directly in the exam. No, solve some sample papers, follow this strategy, and see whether this time is sufficient for you or not. All right, that's very important, guys. Work on your speed. Solve sample papers. I'm telling you guys for each and every session which I'm getting about the term one. I'm telling you again and again. do solve sample papers because that will tell you how good you are with the solving questions whether you are able to complete all the questions in the given amount of time given period of time all that is very important theek okay? hai and don't get stuck at a single question if you don't if you are not able to solve any question go for the next one so that skipping habit will develop when you'll be uh, solving questions otherwise in exam what happens you get stuck in one question 15 minutes gone that's the problem when we uh, students don't solve sample papers theek okay? hai now chapter wise guys so chapters you have real numbers weightage around 7 marks polynomials 6 marks linear equation to variable 5 marks triangle 6 marks coordinate geometry 11 marks introduction to trigonometry 7 area related to circle 4 and probability 4 theek okay? hai these are your chapters from the different units you can take a screenshot notes will be available to you as well and this is the like the bar graph which we have shown regarding these topics so you can see that coordinate geometry real number and moreover if you see other than coordinate geometry all are around this range only and are 6 to 8 6 to 8 somewhere so some some chapters like areas related to circle and probability four four marks but that is because they are easy topics hai na all right so this is the marks distribution now this is for the standard math guys ठीक है, basic maths according to the sample paper which CBSE has released, you can see uh, areas related to circle probability they are more five five marks given, and generally all the sessions are from five to seven marks, so equal distribution. ठीक है, all right, so here basic maths this is the uh, chapter wise marks distribution, so here you cannot say afford to skip any session any chapter same thing over there as well don't afford to skip any chapter because easier chapters are of lower marks and the difficult ones will is, are carry heavy weightage so you cannot afford to lose any say leave any chapter basic maths also guys go through each and every chapter as well okay so let's say we are saying approximately 30 days are left i'll say in this 
let's take 22 days for preparation and remaining eight days for revision so we have eight chapters let's classify them into three types of chapter uh, difficult chapter moderate chapter and an easy chapter let's say easy for everybody is probability difficult chapters may i can say let's say what is happening here difficult chapter will say coordinate geometry if you want uh, trigonometry and for some of you let's say pair of linear equation in two variables because it's a lengthy chapter right and then the moderate one i'll say polynomials areas related to circles you know, all those will be over here so three four one that's the way uh, i have kept yours can be different as well now what i'll say if you have difficult topic guys uh, try to classify in this and three chapters you keep difficult four you keep as moderate one you keep as easy so three chapters like around three three point five days three and a half days so you'll see like in 11 days or around 10 days you'll be able to complete all your difficult chapters in 11 days you'll be able to complete all your difficult chapters now understand i'm saying 11 days because i'm not assuming that you are only studying maths i'm also assuming that you are studying other subjects as well that's why for three chapters 11 days then for four chapters 10 days and this one chapter so easily one, one one day you can finish so that will give you around your 22 day, 22 days eight chapters done okay stick to this no matter what happens give extra effort give extra time to your self study if you are one of those students who want to start with the basic conceptual understanding understand each and every concept the prodigy series for cbse 10th and is already made a playlist is already made you just have to go to that playlist everything we have done we have made the playlist also see real numbers playlist then polynomials each and every chapter playlist is there i have taught each and every topic in detail you can go through these sessions wherever you are finding difficulty go through that and don't remember please don't forget guys that just watching this won't be sir won't be enough maths is a subject which requires practice so even when you're watching the session whenever i am doing any question first pause the video over there solve the question on your own and then see the solution if you're not able to solve it then see the solution what i have done where you were making mistake so that's how you are going to learn the uh, learn to solve the problems understand guys just remembering the formulas doesn't will will definitely not get you marks there will not be any direct formulas question something once you know the formula, you need to know how to apply those formula. So maths is more application based subject. Okay. So practice, practice, practice makes a man perfect. Solve as many problems as you can. So first watch the videos, do the revision, solve the problems of that. Go for any other book which you have NCRT problems, solve all of those. Sample papers if you have solved all of those as well. Then in the revision plan guys, you have eight days for revision. So remember importance of revision is twofold. First, <clears throat> Why important it is to revise? First thing, it will make you uh, remember all the formulas, facts, whatever it is, uh, theorems, you know, different types of problems which you find difficulty. Suppose in this 22 days of preparation, whatever questions you have found difficulty, you have marked them. Now those questions you can solve again in the revision plan and you'll get to know whether you have understood those questions or not. Okay? Secondly, uh, <clears throat> if we are doing revision, definitely, it is going to be a confidence booster. Once you are doing revision, guys, your confidence is going to increase at least three times. Okay, that's the main logic or that's the main cause for doing revision because it increases your confidence. Solve sample papers, I have told you, it will let you know like how good you are with solving questions, with whether the speed with which you are solving the question, whether that is good or not, whether you're able to complete the whole syllabus on time or not, all that is very important. Previous year papers, although you'll see sir, that pattern has changed, I do understand that. But uh, you can like just go through the types of question over there, okay, which have been asked repeatedly, and then solve those kind of question wherever you have uh, where if like I'm not saying going to uh, CBSE website and going to each and every sample paper and solving everything. Just go through any reference book you have, any relevant questions which are relevant till now as well, which are very important, repeated every your say some of the roots product of the roots kind of question very important every year it will be repeated so those kind of questions practice more mind maps cheat sheet formulas keep it handy every time so that you can revise whenever it is required all right take a so remember if it is important to you you will find a way and if it is not you will find an excuse so now you have to understand whether you are finding an excuse 
to not study or whether you are finding ways to study all right hey guys so this is all and i have told you any other kind of help in your preparation if you have not studied anything till now you want score booster course vedantu grade 10th term 1 crash course is the course for you amazing course very less price and also unlimited micro courses so you can study as many times a topic as many times as you want all right so link is in the description box guys join quickly and thank you so much once again for joining the session uh, gp pro is your code to get 10 percentage off all right guys so thank you so much please don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you so much i'll see you soon bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye